Why, hello, YouTube! Greetings from the Lazy Eyebrow Reviewer. It's time for another review! About time. So let's hit shuffle and see who it'll be today. It's Takara Tomi MP16 Frenzy and Buzzsaw. And since I've already covered a Maps Piece Condor cassette, we'll go through Buzzsaw first. Buzzsaw is the yellow laser beak. The end. Now on to transformation. Feed out, unfold wings, head up and around, fold up jetpacks and fins, pull back wings, and we've got a yellow laser beak. Yahoo! Ironically, the two are the only G1 cassette cons that Movie Space Jump own, so let's do some size comparison. So here we have Masterpiece versus G1, and well, this is kind of hard to picture because the G1 has no head or jetpacks. Regardless, we can note the G1 is a much more of a golden color, whereas the Masterpiece is a bright yellow, which I personally think was a great upgrade. And here's laser beak. Yep, just a yellow repaint that appeared in four episodes of G1 cartoon and mentioned during two of those times. Kinda useless. Just a money grab, really. Unless read the comics, in which case, Buzzsaw had a really sick and sadistic personality. Oh well. So now it's time we can have two birds that perch on those tabs in his arms. You know, for when he's pawing down or pretending to be a scarecrow or something. <laughs> And, well, these can go right, right now, because we're on to bigger and better things, like Frenzy! Now, before anybody jumps down my throat and says, Well, this is Rumble, you foolish, foolish individual! Get your facts straight! Well, you're right. This is Rumble. At least, this is what I call him. So, right behind this is this is what was originally intended to be called Frenzy. That is his name in Japan, and the red one being Rumble. But a mistranslation on the way to the States got their name switched. And now us North Americans think of this guy to be Rumble. And personally, I think it fits much better, so rumble it is. Now enough rambling, let's compare these two. From the front, these two tapes look very similar. Only difference being the G1 has one extra stripe and MC60, both of which were accurate to the tapes of the day. I'm kind of hoping Repro Labels comes out with a set for these tapes because the inaccuracy is kind of bugging me. From the back though, they look practically the same. Same colors, same size, everything. Well, almost same size. I did some measuring and Masterpiece is like a sixteenth of an inch bigger. Which is kind of why it doesn't fit in the G1 cassette. It, it does if you cram it. Now on the transformation. Pull the legs down, rotate them inward, pull down the waist, rotate the arms down, flip up the head and rotate, pull up the hands and you're done. Now this guy is a vast improvement on the old one. But the transformations are nearly the same. Just a cleaner, more articulated G1 rumble. Now the masterpiece humanoid tapes come with accessories. Actually, they're the only tapes that do. They get to come with pile drivers and guns. Which the instructions say are machine guns, but I don't see that. Much like the G1, the guns clip into his tape holes for more of a G1 look. Except they now come with a feature of an extra handle that folds forward so they can actually be held. His second accessories are his pile drivers. Fold in his hands and make a goal push with his arms and just clip them in. And man, these really do look good on him. And now he's ready to rumble! Lame jokes aside, he also comes with an accessory to his accessories, a holding clip. Open the pile drivers, slide in the guns, and slide the drivers into the cap. And now you have a self-contained accessory container, which they tried kind of hard to find a few spots to store them. I don't think they look overly cool, but you know, A for effort and all. First, they can clip into his back. Makes him back heavy, but he can sit, I guess, to rectify this. I personally think it looks cool as a jetpack. Second, it can clip into sound waves so he can sort around which I also think looks kind of silly. Not like Soundwave can hold five cassettes anyhow. Finally, using the sensor part that I mentioned earlier, we can have a battery type thing. Storage, power, add-on RAM boost, external hard drive, and eh, not really sure what they think this is supposed to be, but whatever. And yes, yes, reference to the movie, blah, blah, blah. The Soundwave never plugged in himself into pile drivers. He plugged into a computer. That, and this reference isn't just from the movie, it's also from the episode Autobot from the G1 series. I think it's season 2. Moving on. There's also a completely useless storage area located in the back panels of the cassette player mode, or in robot mode, the sides of Soundwave's feet. Open these doors up and slide in a gun per side. Can you fit in both sets of guns? Yeah, no. So that's it for MP16, Masterpiece, Frenzy, and Buzzsaw. This is one I recommend only if you're a really big fan of Takara and you wanted a Frenzy and a Buzzsaw. I don't know anybody that really loves Buzzsaw. I've never really heard anyone go, oh my goodness, Buzzsaw, gotta get him, gotta get him, gotta get him. So, not really sure who would this apply to. 
Um, but if you want them, here's where to get them, I guess. Anyway, you get both of these guys in different paint schemes in MP13 and MP15 with Rumble, or Frenzy as you like to call them, and Laserbeak in MP13. Or if you wait for the Hasbro edition, which I strongly recommend doing, you get all five in one package for probably 150 bucks. Speculation there, but we'll see. This has been the Lazy Eyebrow Reviewer.